Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, What If? And our scripture is Psalm 124, where King David writes, What if the Lord had not been on our side? Let all Israel repeat, What if the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us? They would have swallowed us alive in their burning anger. The waters would have engulfed us. A torrent would have overwhelmed us. Yes, the raging waters of their fury would have overwhelmed our very lives. Praise the Lord who did not let their teeth tear us apart. We escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I think Advent is my kind of season. As an introspective sort, I naturally turn toward the inner self, thinking, evaluating, wondering, and too often overthinking. But it is what it is. We are hardwired one way or another. As much trouble as I can get into by keeping my mouth closed and mind working, and therefore open to criticism of being moody or uncaring, I do sense I stay out of trouble more that way than the other. Two sayings come to mind. One is, open mouth, insert foot. And the other is, better to keep mouth closed and be thought a fool than to open mouth and remove all doubt. Advent was built with a thinker in mind. To reflect is to consider deeply about what you're doing or what happened or perhaps, most importantly, what's coming. In the Christian life, there's no larger consideration upon which to reflect than that last one. What's coming is Jesus. The quote-unquote thinker of Psalm 124, King David, does all three. First of all, he looks back. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Well, the result of life in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria would have been a catastrophe. The blood would have run neck deep to a horse for miles. Secondly, King David looks at what he does now in light of what happened. The trap is broken and we're free. Freedom carries responsibility. The psalmist doesn't want to waste this gift of opportunity to reflect positively on God's great kindness. And then thirdly, David looks very deeply at what's coming. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. To consider every last nook and cranny of creation takes a long time. Somehow, the sober moment of escaping the tragedy of an enemy attack has driven this thoughtful one to remember not only where he and all Israel would be without God's divine favor and grace, but resolve to trust in no other strength save the loving kindness of Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, the God who is I Am. For you today, there's enough emotion at this time of year. Hallmark has seen to that detail. For believers, it's a time to think carefully, deeply, and with the very pointed purpose of engaging where we've been, what we're doing, and what's coming. Advent is the stuff of lifetime. What hangs in the balance for you and me is to either be engulfed by this world's evil system or released like a bird from a cage, prison of sin or released to the kingdom. That's Advent. That's today. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.